Hello, everybody. Let me get my earbuds in. Hello, 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 and welcome to Marriage and the Single Lady. It's been quite some time. How are you? How are you? How are you? Let me get my little earbuds in. Oh, gosh, I missed you guys. I missed you guys. We have a really good hot topic tonight um, talking about Christmas and the Christmas lockdown. So are you ready? I'm waiting for my... Um, co-host Janine to come in here. Let me see if I can go ahead and um, plug her in. If you have any questions, obviously, um, let me know. Let me go ahead and get her in here. Oh, man, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? This is a pretty tough time for a lot of people because of the uh, COVID and um, a lot of people have lost loved ones during this time. So, um, hold on, let me go ahead and get some of you guys in here. So a lot of people have lost loved ones during this time because of COVID and, um, you know, just the state of affairs in our country. So let me go ahead and mute this, get my computer together. So we want to talk about, um, yeah, how do we cope during this time of uh, this time of year with so many empty seats um, at the dinner table and quarantine and the state of affairs in the country and you know yeah it's a lot going on so anyway I missed you guys this is workshop series fifteen class number three Christmas on lockdown we have some really fun um, ideas and some things that we're going to talk about. Um, that you can do with your family and friends uh, for Christmas and for the new year and not to make this year so boring and um, so predictable, I guess I should say. So I'm waiting for Janine to come in and uh, let me see. If not, you guys can... Hi, Denise. Kind of give you guys a couple of minutes to come in. How are you? If you have any... And also, if you have any ideas that you want to share with us dealing with Christmas and... Um, and things that you can do while we're on um, lockdown. So let me pull up my notes here real quick. This is a really, really interesting um, topic because we've never done this before. <laughs> no one has ever had a lockdown Christmas. And, you know, this is normally the year that's fest. You know, we're festive. Let me make sure I got my. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is a year that's usually a little bit different. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up with a word of prayer, then we're going to just jump back in. You're here, Janine? Uh, did you try to... I invited you. Are you able to... Hmm. I, I'm trying to add you in, but nothing is adding. I don't see where... Hold on. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can try to, yeah, I, I sent you an invite, Janine, you should, oh, okay, okay, all right, so Janine will be with us in a minute, minute guys, so anyway, we're going to talk about some fun ideas, some things that we can do um, for this holiday season, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up with a word of prayer, and then... Um, Oh, hold on, Janina. I, I see you now. I see you. I see you. <laughs> hey! Very well. Look, How I was are you? Try a new device, and the new device was like, no, ma'am. You weren't working? Okay, but you're here. You're I'm here. You're here. You're here. You're here. Trying here. to find a headphone <laughs> thing for this thing. Is this it? Oh, it's all right. Let me get down. Ah. Hey, let me pull Woo! my camera up just a little bit. Get my okay. cell phone up. Hey, hey, right, hey. will be with us in a minute. Okay. Okay. We here. We here. Okay, I'm all in the back of my green screen. Okay, guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> oh, I match your screen. I know, right? <laughs> we got it going on. All right, so we're going to just jump right in, girlfriends. So we'll okay. um, open with a word of prayer, and then we can jump right into the Christmas on lockdown. Okay. 
Okay, so Father God, we thank you one more time for allowing us to come thank together, you. Father God, in corporate praise and worship. So Father, I thank you, Lord, for this topic tonight. We're just praying and believing, God, that somebody will be blessed by it. So Father God, we're asking that you direct this session, Lord, that you uh, remove Janine and Zandra and allow the Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide within us, God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for all of the viewers that's going to watch us now, the ones who are going to catch us on YouTube, Father, and those who who's going to reach out later, God. We're just believing that they're going to be blessed by this topic tonight. So we thank you, and we lift all of these things up to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hey. Woo! So let's just jump right into it. This is a okay. kind of a different time of year <laughs> with this lockdown yeah. and Christmas, and then a lot of um, people have lost loved ones due to the COVID. So... What are your suggestions? You know, I I had some things that, and I'm still going to share, but I was in a certain mindset, and then I talked to a friend this afternoon who lost his mother this morning. And COVID is, is, is a part of it. And so, you know, this, this year, is unlike any other year. Um, grief, dealing with grief around any holiday is, is sometimes feels like a gut punch. I encourage anyone who's dealing with grief or loss reach out even if it's just to one somebody and, and let them know that you're struggling. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, you don't have to be a superwoman or superman. Um, there's no time limit on grief and loss. Um, you, you really have to go into self-preservation because if you don't, you'll burn out. There'll be nothing left. And I, and I told my friend today, I said, look, you, you do you, whatever that means for you. Right. Don't try to grieve in a way that you think others are expecting you to. Don't worry about what other people say, they want all that kind of stuff. Do you. I said, this is a book that you write solo. You, you don't need co-authors <laughs> for this. This is, you, they don't need to do the foreword or the press or anything. Do you. So oftentimes we don't we don't allow each other to have a safe space for grieving and mourning. Um, and it lasts beyond all the preparations for whatever service you're going to do. You know, it's, it's once you're done catering to everybody else, you've, you're experiencing the loss, but you're catering to everybody else you got um, enough fried chicken and pie to feed the state of Florida. And God bless people for doing that. But then it's like they all pack up and go home. Or, you know, they go back to their lives because life goes on. And you're, you know, you're coming down from all the planning that you were doing figuring out what they're going to wear, writing the, the program and the flowers and dealing with the family, the crazy family drama, who gets Girl. to sit in the car and how come I'm not in the first car and, you yeah. know, and all that stuff, you get past all of that. And then you are, you are trying to figure out what your new normal is. Yeah. So 
it's interesting that we're talking about this today because the some of the suggestions for dealing with grief and loss really tied into how to celebrate the holidays because oftentimes um, you are still coping with some grief, some loss as you're figuring out how to celebrate not just these holidays, but all of them. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. This is deep. <laughs> This, this, it's 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 a heavy time, um, and you know sometimes people don't feel comfortable reaching out because right. they're 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 always wearing their superhero cape, right? Right, um, and so you know superheroes really don't have a nine to five. They don't go on vacation. They don't take a hiatus. They don't go on sabbatical. They don't even go to retreats to superhero school to study like you're just always on. Um, and so it's uncomfortable for some people to say this, this broke me. Right. I'm trying to put myself back together. I don't know how to do that. Um, you know, sometimes who you talk to doesn't have to be someone that you're super close to. Because sometimes right. the people that you're the closest to may be the hardest to talk to because maybe you aren't as comfortable being super vulnerable or you're the rock of the family. Mm -hmm. And so when you're the rock of the family, there's nobody else to turn to. Everybody turns to you, <laughs> right? So you need to go find your own rock. Right. Um, but sometimes it could be a coworker. It could be a neighbor. Yeah. Um, just someone that you can say some stuff to, mm -hmm. you know? Um, the holidays, especially between Thanksgiving and New Year's Eve is steeped with tradition. Yes. <laughs> that reminds you of what mama used to do and grandpa and what they made and how you did, you know? And I, I love some traditions. Mm. Um, there's some things that I still do because of how I was raised. Yeah. yeah. But if you find that any of it is too much, you have permission to not, not do, do it. it. Yep. You know, you don't have to make grandma's mac and cheese <laughs> if you're going to be on the floor and can't even eat it. That's right. Because going through that this time is going to jack you up. Skip the mac and cheese. <laughs> that is so true. Don't don't do that to yourself. Don't. You know, um, Jesus never said that his birthday had to be celebrated with ham and mac and cheese and greens. And <laughs> he didn't say that. Right. We said that. Right. You know, um, look, I, I did a shrimp boil for Thanksgiving. Mm. Didn't see no dressing, no, <laughs> I didn't make, no ma'am, I didn't do none of that. Put it in my ninja foodie pot, <laughs> done. Be empowered to make some changes, especially if it's going to spare your soul. Right. Why do we feel like we have to um, stay with tradition if we know it's going to remind us of grandma or grand or whom? It's, it seemed like we would know that it's going to bring pain, I guess. And it seemed like we tend to go towards, I don't know, maybe we're just caught in our feelings and not really, right. you know. My mom is, was known for making banana pudding. And so the first Thanksgiving after she passed, I was like, I got to make this banana pudding to remind me of my mom. But then, like you said, I'm like thinking about her every time I'm eating it. So I'm thinking, why did I do that to myself? <laughs> Right. You, you got to check in with yourself regularly. There are times when I will say I'm OK. Mm -hmm. And I can think about her and laugh and talk and, you know, and, and I can. She taught me how to make bread. Her mother, my grandmother, who I never met, who passed when my mom was 19. So none of us got to meet her, but we knew of her. And she was like shared with us through the cooking. Um, and so I still make bread, um, and sometimes it's hard, but it's therapeutic because it's like, I'm, I'm keeping that tradition alive. 
and I feel like I'm talking to my mom and my grandmother mm -hmm. whenever I'm making it. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. And I know that regardless of the range of emotions that I feel, um, if it gets too much, I beat the crap out of the bread. You have an <laughs> excellent loaf of bread because you have to knead it, beat the crap out of it, work through some things. Right. I used to make bread and name it after uh, previous <laughs> bosses that I had. Never had a bad loaf of bread. Beat the crap out of it. But I know I can do that. There's some other things that aren't as easy to do. And so I give my myself permission to say, you know what? This one right here, I'm not going to do. Yeah. Or maybe, and, and I don't, and I'm not even saying that I'm never going to do it again, but it's like, I can feel that this right now for me, yeah. it's, it's not the answer. Right. You know? And what about those who um, are on a time schedule? They feel like, okay, I need to be over this in a year. I need to be over this, be over this in two years. And they're hard on themselves if they're still grieving five years from now. Is the, the we make plans and God laughs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, um, grieving is different on everybody. Right. Um, I'll never forget. It was like a year after I lost my mom and I, and I ran into an associate, never forget it. Brian Seth Hurst, bless him. He had lost his mother maybe six or seven years prior. And he told me, he said, you know, it took me about five years to kind of get back to himself. He never stopped, you know, but to to feel kind of really settle into a new normal. Right. And, you know, for some that may sound daunting, but it gave me peace because it was it all those feelings of, OK, it's been this amount of time. It's been this amount of time. Mm -hmm. You know, there there are stages to grief. Mm -hmm. Anger six, and yeah. denial, and mm -hmm. I mean, there's stages. So sometimes you repeat some of those stages Dangerous. before you, you know, mm -hmm. it's like you kind of go and, right, uh, <laughs> you know, it, you, right, and it takes a minute to get to the acceptance and mm -hmm. peace part. Um, there are times where you may be okay. You may be digging through the photo album. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, finding old videos, um, listening to the Christmas music. You know, Christmas music can take you out. You start thinking about girl who you, you know, singing it with mama. We <laughs> yeah. would dance and decorate the tree. Yeah. And, you know, and, and, and sometimes you can do it and you're smiling and you're laughing and you're thinking about amazing memories, mm -hmm. right? And right. there's other times where the M&M's commercial comes on. Oh, they're real. <gasps> he is real. And they both, you know, the yeah, M&M's and Santa fall out. Day. Right. Yeah. And that can open the floodgates because you're like, it's holiday season. We're yeah. officially back. It's Christmas time. Right. <clears throat> I mean, you could just be triggered. Right. That is so true. You know, so you have to be kind and patient to and with yourself you and you have to remember that the people around you who truly love you i'm not talking about baggage dead weight the people that truly love you um are oftentimes at a loss about how to help you they see that you're hurting they mm -hmm. they know that there's nothing they can do or say to make it better and that's a that's a a hopeless feeling sometimes especially when someone's really close to you you want to take the pain away and you know that you can't mm -hmm. um so be kind to those around you because they're just trying to help but still speak your truth mm -hmm. don't end up doing something that's going to compromise your soul <laughs> right you know 
and have you walking around like a gaping wound because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings because they're trying to help you. Right. <sighs> Say, that's, that's not going to work for me. I appreciate that. I love you for thinking of me. I think that's going to be too much. Yeah. Or I think that's, that's going to be a trigger. Right. I'm, I'm just in a space right now. Um, I thought I was going to be okay, but uh, as of yeah. 17 minutes ago, that changed. Changed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I just. Right. I right. just, you know. Wow. Um, and b gotcha. be empowered to protect yourself. Right. Okay. What else is on our list? Some of the things yes. that we can. Um, yes. This is good. This is good, good convo. And guys, if you have any questions, please let us know. Put Let's them in the comment see. section. So just some so different cool. things that you can do. I thought these were like kind, kind of fun. Some of it is like, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> don't do all that. Right. But um, there's an app that we use and it's called House Party. Oh. And House Party is like, it's like a Zoom. It's like um, FaceTime, you know, any of those kind of platforms. But what's so cool about it is that it has built in games. So you could play Uno and a bunch of other stuff. And you can mm -hmm. have up to like eight people on there. Oh, wow. Right. So it feels like you've gotten together for game night. So if you're Zooming with people, you do um, Google chat, you do WhatsApp, all that, all that stuff is great. Give House Party a chance because there's Uno. There's a game called um, Chips oh, wow. and Guac that's like apples to apples. There's a drawing game. There's a trivia game. It is super fun. It is super wow. fun. And you feel like you're all together playing. Okay. That. Is the app so, free for anybody that want to download? Free. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. House party. House party. Okay. House party. Um, look for me. I'll be on there. <laughs> on there quite often. Um, let's see. Uh, I thought this was cool. Create your own ornaments. Oh, wow. Yes. That's right. fun. Right. Right. Because those are keepsakes. Right. And it takes up time. Yes. Yeah. You know? And mm -hmm. sometimes you get up. And you're like, oh, thank you, Lord, for a whole new day. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with it? You know, because there's all this just whether it's grief or loss or just the heaviness of being quarantined and not being able to celebrate the way you normally do. You know, you'd normally be cross country with family, you right. know or people will be coming to you. And because we're really, a lot of us just aren't able to do that this year because we're, we're, we want to be safe. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, right. you know, I think anytime you can implement something new, like creating ornaments, right. You know, and again, it's an activity. It doesn't, they don't have to be perfect. Right. You don't even safe. necessarily have to put them on the tree. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's it's something to do. Right. Past time. Right. And you will remember it. You'll look back 10 years from right. now. We did this during quarantine. And mm -hmm. it's something to represent the year. Yeah. Um, certainly, you know, when we when we drill down to the reason for the season, most of our traditions and stuff are tied to other things that are not necessarily reflective of the reason for the season. Anyway, true. That's right. That's so true. You know, that is true. So if you, you know, you take a beat and you dig into your word and and really envelop yourself in the reason for the season. Right. Right. That is so true. You know, yeah. it, it's like it's like bookends. We have Christmas and we have Resurrection Sunday, Good Friday and Resurrection <laughs> Sunday. Right. Yep. Right. Um, and so those couldn't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. So you can and you can get completely just lost in he came to earth to show us the way. Yeah. You know? Ooh. 
And, and when you can get to that place where you really wrap your mind around, he decided to put on flesh. Right. Right. And come on down to save us. Yes. Wrapped himself up. Yes, he did. You know, you, you, you can push past, oh my goodness, I'm not going to have grandma's mac and cheese. Right. right. Oh my goodness, we're not going to do the blah, blah, blah. And right. I understand. I mean, we all have amazing and some crazy family memories <laughs> of you, that you wouldn't trade for the world. Right. right. You know, but we, we are, we want to be safe. Mm-hmm. We want to help keep others safe. Right. Um, and just because we can't do the things that we normally do doesn't mean that Christmas is canceled. Now, that's if, true. You, if you decide it's canceled, that's between you and Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> that's so true. You know, but yeah, it's, don't it's cancel. not canceled. You yeah, know, don't so cancel Christmas. Find, find ways that bring you joy acknowledge the things that cause you pain or seem like triggers right Right. and look at new ways it is one day one day that's so true one day it can feel like a lifetime and now with all the christmas commercials and and holidays and i say hallmark has white christmas (laughs) just and it's the leading up to Christmas, I think, that gets people. Right. It's so, and, and you know, we want to bring this. Because it's heavy. Yeah. yeah. And so many people outside of the lockdown and COVID, um, this is a, a high rate of um, suicide. Suicide. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because everything around you, you're bombarded with reminders of what you don't have. You've lost your loved ones or you're single, so you thought you'd be married by now, or you're married, you thought you'd have kids by By now. now. Everything is, you know, you thought you're in an apartment, you thought you'd be in a house house by now. now. You know, you know, I mean, and even things is, I, you know, I thought I'd still have my hair now. (laughs) You know? Right. There's so many things that, that can become triggers around the holidays. And like I said, you're constantly bombarded with all these reminders of what you don't have, have. you know, what you used to have, how right. you used to be able to do it or where you thought you were going to be. Um, recognize the fact that this time is loaded with triggers. Yeah. Be on guard. There are times if something, I change the channel. Yeah. yeah. Who am I being brave for? <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. right. No. Change channel. Right. You know? Um, invent good. a That's holiday good. cocktail. A 21 and over. That's interesting. Invent one. That's something that Invent has... one. You know, and if you are not of the drinking age, invent a non alcoholic alcoholic holiday cocktail. Tell. Do you have any suggestions? Child, yes. I have. <laughs> Glad you asked. We went to a brunch a couple of years ago and friends of the family made a coffee martini. Mm. And when she made it, I went and got French vanilla creamer and put it in there. Mm. And then I took it up a couple notches and I made my version with like salted caramel Brazilian roast something coffee. Okay. Mm. Then I get Bailey's salted caramel. And then I get Snickers creamer. (laughs) Wow. Y'all don't hear me. (laughs) And whipped cream. And then I sprinkle some little coffee grounds on it. Or you could put like a little coffee bean. You know, make up stuff. Wow. Was it good? (laughs) (laughs) 
what you say. You know, mm. make something up. Why not? Okay. Um, do a non-traditional Christmas dinner. Save yourself. Oh, yeah. That's you will big. be up under the table crying <laughs> into your mac and cheese stuffing and stuff all over the floor. Right. You know, you've been in burn up the bird and the <laughs> ham. I, right. you, why? Right. Do something totally different. If you want to have a nachos bar, right. you want to make, you want to have so brunch. True. Right. You know, right. do brunch. You want to make like a, a cheeseburger pizza there. There's no so, rules. Right. right. That don't, is so true. Don't get trapped in and, and, and feel like you, you know, you have to have this and this and this and this, mm -hmm. you know, and, it's good. If, you know, if you're not by yourself, you're, you, you are with family or family you've been getting together with during the quarantine. So you feel a little safer doing things with mm -hmm. them. Um, guess what? Everybody will be okay on the 26th if they didn't have mac and cheese. That's right. Uh, and That's I mean, they really will. They'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll be okay. And right. even if they won't, you will. Right. Do something different. Different. That's so true. Have a crab boil. Have a shrimp oh, boil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, make pe make homemade pizza. Ooh. You know, have a brunch. Like I mm -hmm. said, there, there's so many amazing recipes out there. Holiday suggestions. Do like a breakfast casserole. I mean, mm. there's there's so many things that you could do. It will it will make a world of difference because that heaviness of trying to recreate mama's Christmas, grandma's right. Christmas, right, with right. all the stuff they would make, you are this second away from burning something and spiraling out of control. You know, you burn up mama's rolls, you, you dry it out the ham, and you're ready to go run out in, in traffic. Don't do that to yourself. Yeah. Don't this do that. Deep. Yeah, that is so true. Try something new. It, yeah. it, it'll, it'll make a world of, of difference. difference. Yeah. A world of difference. Ooh, guys. I don't think we've ever just thought about trying something new. It's like right. we feel like we're forced to stick with tradition. Mm-hmm. And then and when I'll, you hear... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, um, when you mentioned about trying something new, a lot of people don't think about making um, their breakfasts from scratch, like an actual homemade mm -hmm. breakfast. We typically, a lot of people do, like you said, brunches or the Christmas Eve dinners. I've heard that, but I don't hear too many people that get up and actually, and at least in my family, actually make homemade breakfast food. Just mm -hmm. something, to, just taking the time out, making the making the homemade biscuits and the rolls from scratch, mm -hmm. and just you know, outside of going out killing the hog and making the bacon, right. just doing everything from scratch. So that's something that's different, and I think right. it's because people are so tired from cooking the big Christmas dinner. Right, right, and so. and you know what? Um, I don't want anybody to think that we're saying the only way to feel better is if you make it from scratch. Oh, if right, making it right. from some scratch is not your zhuzh, don't, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> Get some donuts. <laughs> Pillsbury <laughs> has cinnamon rolls, right? You put them in the yes. oven and you glaze them. Get some, like, don't. <laughs> Don't put the emphasis on the stuff that you feel you have to make or have right. for this day. Right. It's all about de-stressing. That's all right. we're trying to get you guys to Look, see. Look, when, when, when the wise men came with frankincense and herb, they, didn't, they didn't come with bacon and fried chicken <laughs> and waffles and cinnamon rolls and macaroni and cheese and sweet potato pie. Guess what, folks? They actually didn't have any. Oh. <laughs> You'll be all right. And a whole bunch of gifts. That's another thing too. We stress right. out by um, trying to buy, mm -hmm. put, you know, maxing out our credit cards, buying gifts we can yeah. afford. Don't do Guys. that. Make if if you are crafty, make stuff. Mm -hmm. Those are actually some of the best gifts when you're good you know? at making stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's easy. People say, "Well, I don't know how to knit." Nobody said knit. Don't knit. Some people yeah. are good at painting. 
some people are good uh, at just putting things together. It's, it's so it's so look, many different areas. Of and how craft. about this? One year, I was thinking about what to get some friends and some coworkers, and I found these cute little jars at the ninety nine cent store. Mm -hmm. And I got sugar. Mm. I got extra virgin olive oil and some oil essence. I got like tangerine and orange. And I made orange sugar scrubs. Oh, wow. Homemade sugar scrubs. That's wild. Three ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> you can really make stuff. Right. And there's something about opening up a homemade gift. I'm not saying that that's better. I'm not judging right, that. Right, right. But there's also something special about, oh, wow, this person took the time to make this. That's good. That's you know, good. So, yep. so try, try, try making some, some gifts. Gifts. Oh, right. check this out. Do what? a holiday scavenger hunt. Oh, wow. wow. Now, that's something new. Now, can you um, walk us through that? So you could do one at your home. It could be inside or in the backyard, you mm -hmm. know, where it's still being safe. But you could do backyard kind of stuff. Um, and if you're not comfortable with that or you're by yourself or you want to include family members that are in other places and you're going to Zoom it in, then you can do um, a Zoom scavenger hunt where there's one person that is is kind of calling it, right? Yeah. And so the person will like put up, Donia did this. We oh. were, I, I, I don't know if it was for her birthday or it was for, for some uh -huh. gathering. And she put up a picture and it was, let's say it was, the character Garfield with the chef hat and an apron and a ladle and a spoon and his arms are crossed like this, right. right? So the scavenger hunt is you have to race around your home and find stuff to recreate that look. <laughs> <laughs> right? And you have what? somebody judge and say who they think the best one is. You will be in tears. It's I've never so heard much of fun. something like that. Oh, how, do the, what is it, five minutes? You have five minutes to do it or 10 minutes to do it's it? Like, or... It's like two minutes. Two minutes? Oh, my gosh. So I've you never... are literally tearing through your home trying to find stuff to recreate. It is, it is so much fun. <laughs> I've never even heard of that before. Wow, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we did a birthday Zoom yesterday for a cousin on Gary's side. Mm -hmm. And we did something similar to this in another birthday thing. I think we did for someone, or maybe it's just a family gathering, but it was name that song. So one person is the DJ and they'll play a little bit of the music. Oh, okay. And the first person to raise their hand and say the group or the artist yeah. and the title. You know, and let's say you do right. 10 of them and then the person who has the most right. wins. Or um, if you end up with a tie, then you have like the tiebreaker one. Oh, okay. But, you know, there's some fun stuff that you can do um, to really just feel as connected as you possibly can. And you're doing something different, but it's fun and engaging, and you can do it with friends, family, a mix. Yeah. You know? Oh, okay. So that's fun. that. I thought that that's was fun. a good one. Um, what else you got? Let's see. We talked about this a little bit, but try a new recipe. Oh, yeah. So yeah, um, that's kind of just a, a continuation <laughs> of, of so, some of the stuff that we said. Um, right. I thought this was interesting. Remake a holiday classic. Oh, oh. is it like a so, like a song? Like a, a song, um, a scene from a movie. <laughs> you know, there's TikTok. <laughs> we, there's all kinds. 
Right, there's all kinds of platforms. So take advantage of that. Right. Create some content. Um, it will. It will. It, it, it will tickle you, and it will make somebody else smile. <laughs> like I don't know. I, you might have seen it, but Gary and his mom dance to the Charlie Brown the Peanut song. Was this late? Da, 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 da. A while ago, right? Right. So they here. do it. They do it every year. Oh, okay. Yes, I right? have seen that. <laughs> right. So and don't and don't think that they're gonna let COVID <laughs> stop them from stop doing them. It. They're gonna use the technology <laughs> and find a way to go ahead and do that. To do. Oh it. my gosh. Okay. okay. That's their annual okay. thing. How many years right. have they been doing this? Oh gosh, this five years. Oh wow! Do they they keep the, a copy of each one so they can over the years they'll be able to play it? I, mm -hmm. Thirty years from now they'll be able to play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is... Start so a tradition. Fun. That's a really good thing. Start a holiday yeah. tradition. Mm -hmm. Start a new one. Yeah, a new holiday tradition. Yeah. Wow. Um, there was another one on this list. Adopt a family. Oh wow. You know, yeah. sometimes what you need is to get out of your head, to mm -hmm. get out of your stuff. Yeah. And be a blessing to others. Someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, help make, because, you know, you're over here stressing about, I usually go to grandma's. We usually do this. We can't do this. We can't do that. We can't right. do this. And somebody else is like, I don't know if we're going to eat on Christmas. You know, yeah. they're, they're dealing with uh, some other stuff. Yeah. That you're, you're that's not even on your radar because you have your list of all the things you're unable to do because of quarantine that you're ticked about. And these folks over here are trying to figure out are we going to eat? Yeah. And that's a real problem because I looked at the um, line in taxi, I think it was in the Dallas, Texas area, where they had a very long line of people picking up food. And it's amazing that here in America that you have people that are not eating in the richest country in the world. Yeah. And we have Congress still not passing some form of stimulus package to try to help families. So, and it's probably not gonna come before Christmas. So a lot yeah. of people um, are facing eviction mm -hmm. as of January 1st, because that's being lifted um, and not having food to eat. You're right. And we're worrying about the new pair of tennis shoes um, that we're trying to get. You know, it puts things into perspective. So, yeah, adopt a family. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I'm I'm not belittling any stress or frustration that we have all felt in varying degrees as a result of the pandemic. Well, right. whether you have lost someone directly or indirectly, mm -hmm. it's affected your job or your just entire lifestyle has changed because of social distancing and being on lockdown. We understand that that is frustrating. Yes. That is hard. Mm -hmm. We are not making light of that. The next pandemic could be yeah. mental health. Ooh, yeah. You know, so all of that is real. But fight to have perspective. Right. You know, especially when you feel yourself getting lost in your stuff. Right. That's good. You know, yeah. fight to have perspective. Right. Okay. Do you have any um, suggestions if people want to adopt a family? What would you suggest them do? Go through their local church or the Red Cross? Definitely. Okay. I would start with uh, start with your church. Mm -hmm. um, you can certainly contact Red Cross. You can look. You can get in your car and drive down the street. Mm -hmm. You're in LA, go right to Skid Row. You know, and before you even get to Skid Row. <laughs> Come on now. Now everywhere is Skid Row because folks are yeah. displaced. Yeah. You know, um, the biggest takeaway for all of this with dealing with grief and loss, trying to figure out how to celebrate the holidays in such a strange time don't put all your eggs in one, one basket. basket, right? Don't put all your eggs into December 25th. 
Come on now. It is, it's impossible for that day or anyone or anything to live up to what you think you need, need. to be okay. Right. 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 Take the stress and pressure off of it. Right. Because it's not going to, it's not going to save you. Mm -hmm. It's not going to erase 2020. Right. You know, it's not going to make COVID go away. Just don't put all your eggs in that no, basket. One. Right. You know? Right. Do some, some, some soul fulfilling things. Help somebody else. Right. Start new traditions. Check on friends and those who you know are grieving and dealing with loss and might not have a plan yeah. of how to do that. Um, and know that there is just as there's the 25th, there's the 24th and the 26th. That's right. You know? Mm. And and while we're at it, don't put all your eggs in the Happy New Year. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, we, look how we did last year. Look, let me tell you something. <laughs> Years ago, I stopped being happy at midnight on New Year's <laughs> Eve. I just have a straight face like, <laughs> okay, um, I'm well aware of what tried to kill us the previous yeah. year. And here's a whole new year with right. a whole new mm -hmm. list of things that could try to take us out. I'm not a pessimist. I'm a realist. You know, yeah. Um, yep. don't don't think that if you can just get to the ball dropping on New Year's Eve that right. we're home free. We don't we don't know, even with these vaccines, you know, we don't know how 2021 is going to play out. That is so true. We don't have we think, to know. Right. All you have to right. know is Jesus. Jesus got you. Right. Trust him. Right. Grow right. your relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Tell him when you're scared. Tell him when you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Tell him, I really thought you was going to come and save us from this and what I thought saving us was going to look like. And that's not what it's looking like. Then so I... I'm a little frustrated because why are you taking so long? <laughs> right, right, right. Talk to him, you know, and and let him show you how he wants you to be a phoenix rising up from the ashes right. of 2020. Who? He's done some amazing stuff for his people right. during this time. People have started businesses. Yeah. People have, have started on adventures and things that they had always wanted to do, but didn't have the time. That's right. To try it around. like, so, you know, get quiet for a moment and say, okay, Lord, since we are still up in this thing, right. What do you want me to work on in the meantime, in between time. Come on now. You know? Right. Because we're Ooh. you know, we're always living for tomorrow. And you know, it's like when COVID's gone, right? What's... And when I'm thinner. <laughs> yep. Yep. When I got more money, when I'm married, when I have kids and here's the present, right? The, not living in the present. It's your life That's why they call it a present, right? Right. Live. Ask him how he wants you to live. Right. What does he want you to do? We could be in this thing another year. We don't know. That is you so know? true. That is so true. So you you holding on and you got your 2021 little <laughs> bazooka mm -hmm. with the glasses and mm -hmm. you're ready. Yeah, yeah, that is so true. We're putting so, such hope in this vaccine. We're putting such hope in um, Biden um, becoming our next president and just assuming things will go back to normal. We really just don't know. We don't know. Um, we don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> we don't know. But, but even in the not knowing, we have hope and, and we have peace. That's right. Because and joy because he he has those for us. Yeah. And sometimes you look around you and you're like, I don't, I don't know about that peace thing, Lord. This is, <laughs> this is a hot frothy mess right up mm -hmm. in through here. And and you know, I was all like, Jesus gonna do it in April. And Lord, <laughs> this is still. Can't. 
I mean, it's almost your birthday. What you? Yeah, no one anticipated a full year. We were thinking mm-hmm. August maybe, but when I right. started, people not wanting to wear their masks is when I knew. I said, I don't know when this is going to end. But like yeah. you said, it's it's not in the stuff that we can see. God is already. This is all over with. We're just walking it mm-hmm. out. So right, our trust right. is in Him, and we say that we trust Him, but you know, a lot of times we don't. We really don't. We say it. It's like you you say it. It's like lip service, mm-hmm. and you're and you're kind of giving them the side eye. Like <laughs> I really thought you was going, yeah, fit this thing right here, right? Especially since we're all asking, right? For you know, right? Um, even in the midst of that. If you if you ask him for reassurance, you know, right. If you say, Lord, I trust you. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Mm, that's it. Show me a little something. Right. I'm not and I'm not asking for parlor tricks. <laughs> you know, I'm not asking you to roll the sun back in the sky. Right. Just a little something just between me and you. Just a little something that that just reminds me that you hear me and you're here. here. Ooh. Right? Right. You 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 were listening. You were counting each tear. Just a, just right. a little something. And he'll do it. Yes, he will. That Every so time. True. And you'll set up like, oh my God. Yes. Okay. Okay, Lord. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you may need to ask for another one no, the no. next day. But he'll it's give daily. you that. He doesn't chastise you because you fall short. The issue is when you fall short and run away, stay away. <laughs> right. Right. You know? Wow. And we know that this the things that we're telling you, this stuff is not necessarily easy, you know, for all of the viewers. Not at all. We know that um, I have not personally lost anyone during COVID. Um, and I did, I was able, when my mom passed, I was able to be around a support group in person. And we know that it's nothing like being in person as opposed to, um, so what we're saying is your hope is in, is in God. And it really is. It's not lip service. And I know a lot of times, you know, people think we're saying what we're supposed to say because Christianese, but I think you and I both having had lost our mom have actually walked it. And I don't know how people make it without knowing I, I can't even right <laughs> right look my mom died in my arms mm-hmm. uh if you had told me that that's how that was going to play out and i would have still been holding her you know nothing but the peace of god mm-hmm. nothing but yeah. And I feel for those who loved ones passed, they had to see them through FaceTime, like what you yes. and I are doing. Right. And they would, they would, within two weeks, some of us have had time to know that our loved one uh-huh. was sick and it may have been years or months or whatever. In my case with my right. mom, she was sick over a long period of time. Uh-huh. Didn't expect for her to pass when she did, but it's one thing when you're healthy today and right literally a week later you're in the ground I... it's it's it is a a challenging time unlike any other but we can step up and and be there yeah for each other and we may not even know what that looks like mm-hmm. but we can be there for each other. And sometimes yeah. being there is just, we can sit on a Zoom mm. and I can cry with you. Yeah. yeah. We don't have to talk. You can just, you know, just knowing that someone is there. Yeah. That understand. As much as, you know, or we can sit on the phone and cry. Or if you are in need of laughter, gotcha. We can watch a movie together. Right. You know? people reach out 
Ignore those little voices that are telling you you're going to be a burden. You're bothering somebody. That's it. Right. That's right. a lie, lie out of the pit. The, the enemy pit. wants yes. to keep you away you from the pack so yes. he can devour you. Yes. That is so true. Kick that punk in the teeth. Get yes. with your people. That is so true. Call out. Out. Reach Call out. Call out. Yeah. We that don't have so to true. have a history together. If we met in passing one time and I was yes. nice, call me. Call out. Yeah. We, we, we want to get to the finish line together. together. I yeah. would hate to think that I was sitting there doing nothing and somebody needed somebody, but they felt they didn't have anybody to reach out to. And that feeling overwhelmed them. Yeah. If we make ourselves available to all the somebodies that need someone, you won't have time to cry over Christmas. Right. And how you usually celebrate it. You won't have time. Right. You will be booked solid. That's so true. That is so true. And this is even a good um, something that we can do as a um, as we wrap this up. It's like you said, adopt a family to give of yourself because there's so mm -hmm. many people who are. I found so many Christians who are really sad, a lot of depression. Mm -hmm. um, because we're not real, and we don't let other people be real. So somehow, miraculously, when you believe in Jesus, all the problems and stuff go away. He said the opposite. <laughs> he said the opposite. <laughs> right. They find you. It's like magnets. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. And so people are depressed because, you know, every time they ask Miss Sister So-and-so, how you doing? Bless the nice paper. paper. <laughs> every day. Uh, uh, all the time. Just, there's never, just, just, Never a bad hair day, broke a tooth, <laughs> just yeah. nothing. I just, you know, I give it all to the Lord. You know, I, I mean, to you Lord. got up, you thought you had clean underwear, <laughs> and you thought you had like two more days of clean underwear, and that was actually your slip in the drawer that wasn't clean underwear, so you don't get like yeah, every day is. is perfect. That's why people are crazy, because we're lying. <laughs> and then we on social media constantly <laughs> like, Dying on the inside. Girl. All puckered up. That is so Dying. true. Living a complete lie. You're looking through all the pictures and living my best life. Um, I got no, you're going not. On the greatest. Girl. Come on. And, and no one is saying, obviously, put all your business on, on the uh, right. social media. But I don't know. It's something about living the fake life. And Janine, I think that's why you and I... Um, I was drawn to you even doing these classes because I'm a realist as well. And I'm looking like all these pictures I get, we're posting when we have good stuff, but I, every day. And I know your story, but then you're the way the world see you and how it really is. Be real. So, girl. Be real. And don't get yes. caught up, last thing, don't get caught up in what you see on social media. A lot of yeah. that is not real. real. It ain't that, real. Or that's a snapshot. And the other real life stuff that's going on is not being documented. And especially as performers and actors, because you may see me in how many movies? And I can't tell you how many people think that I, I have Beyonce money. <laughs> Like, they really think that I'm a wealthy... Because uh -huh. mm -hmm. they see me on TV, they see me in a movie, that's another conversation for another day. Mm -hmm. And then don't I mean, believe me. And don't right. believe me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> or you, because you live in Los Angeles. Oh, my gosh. I gotta that go. means... You wealthy, or you got it going on, or you this. Now, maybe if I had Los Angeles money and I lived someplace else. <laughs> but... Living in Los Angeles with Los Angeles money? Good luck with that. Girl. <laughs> That's why you got the, the, Good luck the with steered that. row come from the ocean on down to downtown. Child. So many people are displaced. Sleeping on somebody's couch can cost you $1,000. Mm -hmm. 
People don't realize, and you don't make the and the minimum wage is fourteen dollars, not even fourteen dollars, right. ten dollars, eleven dollars. Right. So I tell people that, like, no, it's not like that. It's right. very, very just because you see someone in a bunch of movies does not mean that they're paid. Right. And so that's oh. that's a check. Success is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what joy and all stop looking outward right because that'll jack you up mm -hmm. and when you see it over there that's not obtainable because it doesn't have your name on it right yours is not going to look like that so that's stop right. stop walking around like <laughs> this right that trying is to get so okay. true. That is so true. We got to oh, hold on to ourselves. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. It this feels like we haven't excellent. talked in two weeks, right? I know. <laughs> wow, this has been excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, Sister Janine, joining me today. This is a much needed topic. Um, and for my YouTube family, we're so appreciative of you. You're watching us in droves um, for all the comments. Um, we love you too. Thank you. Um, again, as Janine and I are both open, if you have questions, if you um, if there's some, we can pray for you, definitely um, leave us comments in the comments section, and we would love to pray for you. We both understand loss and grief, and um, not saying we understand necessarily your particular situation, but we are here. Yeah, that's why we're we're servants. So guys, we're gonna take another two week hiatus because of the holidays. And then I'm gonna have a guest teacher that's gonna come back for another Ooh. hot series. And yes, yes, yes. And then um, Janine and I will be back, uh, prayerfully if she comes back after that into of next course. year. So, I would love guys, to come yes, back. Yes, let us know. Again, we still will, are interested in putting together a retreat for you guys, a virtual retreat again. Um, if you have any topics that you want us to hit uh, uh, to um, attack and talk about or whatever, give us your ideas and what you want because we're here to yeah. serve you. So, all right, everybody. Oh, Jenny, you want to um, close us in prayer? Okay. Woo! Oh. Yes. oh, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for what you take us to and take us through yes god uh, the tests that you turn into testimonies so we yes, can god. be a blessing to others lord yes god. um we talked about some some hard stuff this time um, yes jesus but but we felt led to do that because somebody needed to hear about it lord mm. i just pray that you touch the minds and the hearts of your people particularly this holiday season, Lord, um, so much loss, so much pain, so much uncertainty. But even in the midst of all of that, you are there in the midst. with yes, open God. arms. Yes, Remind God. us that we can run unashamedly, yes, God. Um, unhindered Come on. into yes, your loving yes. arms and take refuge there, Lord. There are so many who are trying to figure out where their next meal is going to come from, where they're going to lay their heads. Lord God, so we don't take anything, anything for, granted, for granted, Lord. We don't take any of your blessings for granted, Lord, because in the twinkling of an eye, uh, we could be in a similar situation. So oh, I pray, Lord yes, God, God, that as we are dealing with holidays and social distancing and all that we've been through this year, that we not get to a place of of uh, anything that comes from a place of being self-centered yes and overly God. focused on ourselves <clears throat> and what we don't have and what we're missing out yes, on lord help us to always remember the reason for the, for the season. season you coming here lord to start the journey for our salvation we I thank know, you lord right. we are looking forward to celebrating your birthday let this be the time that we celebrate your birthday like Unlike any yes. other time we've Party. ever done yes. that. Because we know that it's not even about the Christmas tree, Lord. It's not about the gifts. Come it's on, not man. about all those family <clears throat> traditions, even though they have uh, a, a, a soft spot Spot's in our worse. hearts and we have great memories tied to them. You are the reason for the season. And if we can get up and give you praise and honor and glory, that is a Merry Christmas. 
That is a Merry Christmas. Lord God, we thank you for all that you're doing, all that you've done, all that you're going to do. We are excited about what you have for us in 2021. And no matter what we see to the left or to the right, if we keep our eyes stayed on you, you promise perfect peace that passes all understanding. And we thank you, Lord, that we can continue to run to you in these crazy times. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Woo, that's good. Ah, okay, everybody. Bye.